This video explains how to use FloraFlow connector kits to supply water to up to 100 feet of garden beds. In a large farm environment, supplying fields of drip irrigation is relatively complex. FloraFlow connector kits eliminate the need for planning and assembling a complex water delivery system for up to 100 foot lengths of all-in-one mats. We use small tubing and small connectors with soft, flexible tubing to aid in hand assembly of your connections. The single bed connector kit is used to connect your first garden bed to your water source. The single bed connector consists of a fine mesh filter washer, a 10 PSI pressure regulator, a small tubing adapter, a short length of soft, flexible silicon tubing, and a drip tape connector. Start by twisting the pressure regulator end of the single bed connector to your garden hose hand tight to make a leak proof seal. Then, start with a neatly trimmed drip irrigation tube on your all-in-one mat. Trim the tube to a right angle so it will fit well on the drip tape connector. Next, wind the collar on the drip tape connector fully clockwise. Then, force the drip tape fully over the ridges on the connector. Now, turn the collar counterclockwise to lock the tape in place. Give it a firm tug to be sure the tape is secure. At the far end of your mat, you now need to terminate the drip irrigation tube. Pull four to six inches of drip tubing away from the plastic mulch. Either cut a short section of tube, one half to one inch, or use the short tube included in your kit. Fold the drip tube back on itself twice and pinch it together. Finally, slip the short length of tube over the folded section to hold the folds together. You can repeat this step for each of your garden beds. The seal is good and easily removed if you want to flush out your tubing for any reason. The add a bed connector is used to connect additional beds to a single bed connector kit. We recommend up to three add a bed connectors per single bed connector kit. For best results, keep the total length of garden bed plus additional add a bed kits to less than 100 feet to maintain adequate water pressure in the tubing. The add-a-bed connector includes six feet of tubing to span between beds, a silicon tube attached to a small T-connector, a second silicon tube connecting the polyethylene tubing to the drip tape connector, and a drip tape connector. Connecting your add-a-bed connector is easy. Pull the silicon tube apart on the single bed connector, then insert the T-connector into the free end of the exposed silicon tube. Finally, connect the second silicon tube to complete the circuit. That is all, but don't forget to terminate the end of your mat using the method described earlier. To connect an add-a-bed connector to another add-a-bed connector, pull the silicon tube free from the drip tape connector end of a previously installed add-a-bed connector. Insert the T end of the new connector into the circuit at this point and replug the system together. You can use your add-a-bed connectors in a variety of configurations by inserting the T-silicon tubing in different positions. When everything is all hooked up, turn on the water. Remember that the initial watering may take hours before the soil is evenly moist. Watering should be made on an as-needed basis. Try an hour every other day. A quick poke with your finger in a planting hole will tell you if your soil needs water. Just remember, Drip irrigation is slow and steady. Enjoy! Produce more and work less with FloraFlow all-in-one mats.